Everybody, welcome to another episode. My name is Uther, and this is Unscripted. I'm just going to tell you my opinions on why I think people should wait to buy the PS5 and Xbox, and why it's a good thing that there's very limited quantity right now. But before we get started, please share and smash the like button for this episode so that ever the people can see this, we can have a great discussion in the comments. Now, after a, a bit, bunch of research over the last couple of days, looking at the TVs available, the monitors available, the games available for the new consoles and the cost of the consoles, I have decided that even though I've done some, I have done some episodes where I'm telling people how to get the models and I'm not telling you you shouldn't, I'm telling you why I am gonna wait. And it's because of updates. The biggest thing right now is there's so many updates that we're waiting on, all right? And there's not enough TVs and monitors that support the 4K 120, the 1440p 120, um, or the 8K 60. There's not enough cables out there. There's not enough games out there that are gonna support it. We're still waiting on a lot of games to actually support this. And in, in general, software updates, working out the kinks, and realistically, this is only a two-year cycle. Most likely, they'll have another uh, model out here in the next two years. We do know there's rumors of the PS5 Pro already, and we absolutely know, we know Microsoft's gonna have a new model out in the next two years, two and a half at the most, based off of the past with how they do things. All right, so after I started doing a little bit more research, I was gonna do these episodes a little differently. I was gonna go a little bit more in depth and some accessories for you guys to pick up tomorrow. But what I found was that there's just not enough for the new consoles, especially at $500 a piece. With the state of the world today, I feel like a lot of people should just sit on the money and wait for new features to come out, more reviews to come out, wait a month, two months down the road, don't be going on eBay and overpaying, just wait. There's gonna be models coming. This is a start of a seven year cycle. Every game pretty much is gonna be cross platform, cross cycle, cross generation, um, you know, whatever you wanna call it, right? There's gonna be models coming out. There's going to be plenty of opportunity, right? So with HDMI 2.1, especially on the PS5, you only have either 4K or 1080p. According to one of the videos I was watching today, it wasn't even supporting 8K, but then again, that could be, I'm not gonna really link that just because I feel like that could have been a glitch in the pre-release products, but not supporting 1440p is a bad thing, a big issue for me, because that's what I play at. I play at 3K 100 hertz and on my PC, and that's what I was hoping to do with the next console, because I would plug it into my ultra wide. I know there'd be the black bars a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I just wanted the 1440p 120. And realistically, only the Xbox can do that. So I'm not sure what the plans are. I mean, the machines look beautiful. They're super powerful. I mean, the processors in these things are absolutely amazing. I don't know if anybody that's watching this episode right now has looked at the Ryzen 3 launch our processors it was kind of a paper launch which i'll probably do an episode about but these processors look absolutely amazing um and so do the gpus but then that's that those aren't even tested yet we know for a fact the processors are good and they're only going to get better as they get more uh a ages uh updates um in the firmware and stuff like that so just sit back relax beginning of the year we're gonna have new monitors new tvs software updates more games and everything's just gonna work itself together. Um, I was talking to a customer at work the, uh, yesterday, I would think it was, we were looking at the PS5, and it's like, you have to stand this thing up. Then we found out you can put it on its side, but there's only one side you can put it on. Uh, with this little, the little stand, can you can stand the PS5 up this way, or you can do it this way. It's just, I don't know. But they're quiet, they run cool, that's a plus. We just need more games, guys. We need more games. We need more accessories. We need more um, uh, monitors and televisions that support the features we're looking for. The way we can actually experience what they're giving us. All right. Uh, if you guys have any any questions, 
please put them in the comments below. Um, I really want to have this conversation with you guys, see what you guys are planning to do. Are you guys really hurt that you don't, you're not going to get one on launch day? Um, are you okay waiting? Are you the kind of person that really waits a year like I am? Are you going to wait two years um, down the road because you know your Xbox and PS4 are going to get supported? Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to have another episode coming soon. Uh, also, check out my NAFA U series. I'm coming out with financial um, teachings and stuff like that. Um, some of those will come back to assist you guys because I will be talking about Microsoft and Sony. All right. Again, have a great one. Thumbs up. See you later.